Hey everybody, Michael here playing Nancy Drew, Legend of the Crystal Skull. I think I have solved this puzzle. Uh huh, uh huh, oh yeah, this is it. I feel kind of bad for Lamont because he's going to get a face full. Um, I can't quite reach that bottle up there. Could you get it for me? Sure. He's going to get a face full of sneezing powder. Ah, poor Lamont. Oh no, oh my gosh, oh shoot, I'm sorry. I'll go get you something. What do you need? No spray, back room. No spray, back room, got it. Okay, so you know what else is in the back room, right? The thing that Bess has been looking for. The box from uh, Bruno Bollet's house. Yeah, nice dog. And an iguana. And is that a skeleton man costume? I don't believe this. A skeleton man costume. And a far too difficult puzzle. Okay, I'd better actually read the puzzle before um, solving it. We have Hamlet. One, three, thirty-two, eight, three, six, eight, fourteen, four. So those refer to the letters. Let's say one, three, and thirty-two. Letter number one is L, and three letters after that is E, and thirty-two letters after that you get B. And you basically go through the letter, skipping through all of the letters, and the answer is Leben und Tod. Which is German for life and death. Dr. Bollet, this completes the transaction. Whoa, this is weird. I better call Nancy and read this to her word for word. Yeah. Well, what's the other thing inside it? Wow, Bess, that is weird. No, I'll tell you what's weird. The box the letter is in is padded, and it has this round indentation in it that's the exact size of a human skull. It's like it used to contain a skull, but now it doesn't. Did you find anything else? Yeah. Inside the box that this box is in, there's a couple of photographs. One's of a boy and a dog, and the other is of an iguana dressed up like a pirate. What? And there's a costume in the box of a skeleton man. Really? And did I mention that Lamont was very reluctant to talk about buying this box of stuff from Henry? He said he didn't want to get anyone in trouble, whatever that means. Sounds like he or Henry or possibly both are up to something they shouldn't be. Good job, Bess. I'm going to poke around here and see if I can find out anything about a skull called the Whisperer. You better go take care of Lamont. Would you believe it? The guy is still sneezing. He must keep nose spray around because something's wrong with his sinuses. Oh, he's going to hate me. Okay, okay. So where did I see an iguana? Oh, here's an iguana. Iguana, do you dress up like a pirate every now and then, or is that just for Halloween? What? Oh, oh. That was Uncle Bruno's pet iguana, Aiden. He's always in here stealing paper. He must be using it to build a nest or something. Look, I had all those books arranged so they fit perfectly in that box. Put them back in, okay? I don't have time. I just want to look through this one book. Go right ahead. After you put all those other books. We have a book about crystal skulls, right? Okay, let's put all the books back. Let me see, can I rotate the books? No. And I had the blue ones on the right, right? I only got to see for like half a second, so... Let's just say the blue ones are on the right. That 
one there. Ooh, do I have one which fits perfectly in there? No, I don't. Working, not working. Okay, let's get these small ones here. I imagine these small ones will have to be the last ones we put into place. No place to put these wide ones except there. Hmm. One goes here. This is a perfect fit. Maybe this is up top here. Oh no! Oh, 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 oh! I had it almost finished! Okay, let's try this again. Um, this was down here. These two were there. No, it was the blue ones who were there, right, because these fit perfectly here. And the blue ones fit nicely there, leaving me just enough room for Mr. Green right over there. That fits nicely there. This has to fit here. And let's just hope the other books fit nicely. Nope. Okay. That fits perfectly. Yes, there we go. This is our solution. Crystal Skulls. Fact or Fable? By Professor Beatrice Hotchkiss? From Nancy Drew, Treasure in the Royal Tower. Awesome! So I guess we can call her and learn more about these Crystal Skulls. And that's a clue. And you can really read these things if you want to. I'm totally not doing that. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay, so that piece of paper was a clue for this. T, B, F, M, L, H, A, P. Is that a U or an M? I'm going to guess it's a U.